Broncos. What's up, everyone? It's been a while since I posted a commentary video. This is going to be the first one of NBA 2K22, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm doing online leagues as usual. The reason I haven't been doing commentaries is because I'm very busy at the moment. I'm literally working seven days a week. So I don't have much time to, you know, add music, do commentaries all the time. So I'm still trying to drop videos on my channel because I don't want to go missing for another <laughs> few months as you guys have seen if you've been subscribed before. I've been disappearing sometimes because of life but I don't want to do that again. That's why I'm still dropping videos throughout the week. On my channel, if you've seen, I've dropped videos without commentary. I call them raw highlights. And personally, I still love raw highlights. I love hearing the crowd. I love hearing the PA announcer. Um, I love it. I don't know. That's just me, but I really enjoy them just as much as the commentary videos that I'm doing right now. But let me know in the comments section what you guys prefer. If you prefer the raw highlights, if you like the commentary, or if you prefer both of them, it's really good for you. Personally, like I said, I love both. I enjoy watching both of them just as much. Like in real life, the NBA posts highlight videos of the games and it's all raw gameplay. I'm saying gameplay, but it's real life. What I'm trying to say is the NBA channel, they also post raw footage of their games and it's really, really awesome. So that's why I'm doing both. And also, like I said, I don't have much time, but like I said, I want to keep dropping videos. But anyways, I want to talk about the gameplay a little bit. NBA 2K22 so far has been really amazing. I really love the game. But obviously, there's still a lot to learn compared to NBA 2K21. The defense has improved. The shooting, I think, is a little bit way too easy. Um, but we have league sliders. We tone down the shooting. But like I said, it's still really easy on 2K22. The blocking is really OP. As you can see, Hassan Whiteside and DeAndre Jordan throughout this video and even Iguodala have been blocking shots. They've been shutting down Anthony Davis. They've been doing a great job on him defensively. And with the ball movement, if you get open threes, you can make them much more easier than 2K21. Because I remember on 2K21, if it wasn't the green, it wasn't going in most of the time. But on this game, slightly early, slightly late, goes in a lot. It's a good thing, but it's also a bad thing. It really depends on your perspective of the game. And also the plays, I'm still learning how to run them properly because there's a lot of new plays on this game as well. The movement is different as well. It's a huge adjustment period. The dribbling is different. Well, to me, the dribbling is a little bit different than 21, especially with Kyrie Irving. If you watch my videos on 21, my last videos were with Kyrie Irving. And with 2K22, I'm starting with Kyrie Irving and I really noticed the difference in dribbling. Especially with all the new badges, the new system of dribbling, like quick chain, hyper drive, um, and all those other new dribbling badges. I still don't know how to dribble properly on this game, but the more I play, the more better I'll become. D'Angelo Russell with the behind the back and he gets fouled. So this game is already winding down the first half. I think there's about four minutes to go. So let me know in the comments section what you think of 2K22 so far. Your opinions, your feedback. And speaking of 22, I didn't even make a my player yet. That's how busy I've been. <laughs> I haven't made a my player yet. I have to make one ASAP because a lot of my friends are already in the 90 overalls. And everyone in this league has a my player that are in the 90s as well. I need to join the squad. We need to play some pro-am, park, and everything. I really want to make a player ASAP because I want to play my player. <laughs> because working seven days, playing league games, editing league games is a lot of time. Because each league game, like I said, is 45 minutes to an hour. Then you got to edit, you got to render and do all these things, make the thumbnail. Like I said, I was just one person doing all of this by myself. So hopefully I can make some time in the future to create a my player and drop some videos as well. A lot of players 
Ooh, this is probably the best play of the game. <laughs> Top play I've ever done on 2K22 so far. That play and then this play right here. Spin, move, step back. Ooh, the defender got lost. And then I greened the three-point shot. That was beautiful. Two back-to-back -back plays. Highlights of the game right there. So AD finally gets a layup in the paint. So going back to my player, I want to make one as soon as possible. I just don't know what position I'm going to make for my first build. A lot of players have been messaging me on my Scotty Pippen video that I made on 2K21. They're asking me to make the same build on 22 because that build was really, really amazing. And I'm trying to create it on 22. You know, the My Player Builder system is a little bit different. They really did a great job in balancing the players with the badges, the attributes. And, Los Angeles and what you can get and what you can't get so nothing is too overpowered based on what I've seen from other YouTubers so I really like that ball movement right here Iguodala with the corner three-point shot he needs a timeout it is now a 15-point game so the game plan throughout the week is I'll be uploading raw highlights throughout the week and then I'll probably have one video with commentary such as this one on the weekend I think that's a good game plan to be honest so that's gonna be about three to four videos a week two or three raw highlights and then one with a commentary so I could talk about the week you know what's been happening on 2k what's been happening in life give you guys weekly updates as well as post highlights of the game throughout the week on the weekdays so you guys still get entertained I really love watching raw highlights that's Russell. gonna be the game plan so far. I think it's gonna be a great idea. Like I said, let me know what you guys think in the comments section. So throughout the week, I'll have raw highlights for the gameplay, and then on the weekend, I'll have a commentary video to bring you guys up to date on what's been happening on the week from Monday to Friday on 2K, on my life, everything. I want you guys to stay in the loop. D'Angelo Russell, big three-point shot. So right here, we're gonna have the last possession of the highlight video. DeAndre Jordan with a crazy swat on Christian Wood. The reason I say it's the last highlight because he ends up quitting the game. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Drop a like and a comment. I'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to get flashed, please be sure to share and like this video. To stay updated, click subscribe and also follow GFlash on Twitter.